This week in Michigan football history. Good afternoon. The day September 25th was good to General Bo George Patton Schembechler. Back in 1976, Bo hung 70 on the Naval Academy, sinking the midshipmen 70 to 14. And exactly 50 years ago today, Bo humiliated the UCLA Bruins 38 to nothing in the big house. This week, we go back further to September 25th, 1948 when the Wolverines welcomed a familiar face as our new head coach, U of M legend, Benny Oosterbahn. The Muskegon native earned nine varsity letters at U of M in the mid-1920s and posted one of the finest years ever in college athletics. As a senior in 1928, Oosterbahn was captain, MVP, and All-American in football, conference scoring champion, and All-American in basketball, league batting champion in baseball. Yeah, he was that good. Oosterbahn turned down offers to go pro and instead stayed in Ann Arbor to work for the athletic department. On this day exactly 73 years ago, he coached his first game on the gridiron. Benny O took the reins from legend Fritz Chrysler, who retired after leading his Mad Magicians to an undefeated season, capped in the Rose Bowl, enough to earn Michigan's first national title since 1933. Oosterbahn's first game was up in East Lansing to face the improving Spartans under former Wolverine assistant Biggie Munn. The question was clear. Could Oosterbahn replace Chrysler and preserve Michigan's 15-game winning streak? While skeptics were abound, the Wolverines prevailed over the Spartans 13-6 in a tough battle. Oosterbahn would prove them all wrong. We roll through the rest of the schedule, outscored opponents 239 to 37, including a 13 to 3 victory over Ohio State in Columbus. Thanks to a stupid conference rule preventing teams from going to a bowl game in back-to-back years, they were done for the year. But an unblemished season was plenty for writers to award Michigan another national championship. Oosterbahn coached until 1958. He served as director of alumni relations until his retirement in 1972, all told dedicating nearly 50 years of his life to the university he loved. Today, three decades after his passing in 1990, Oosterbahn remains the embodiment of the Michigan man and one of the greatest figures in our amazing history. Go Blue! Beat the Scarlet Knights! For more, check out WTKA.com and MVictors.com for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. This is Greg Dooley.